How's it guys? Welcome back to FX Rhapsody. Today we're going to be looking at USD JPY. I'm just going to show you a couple of entries that you've could, could have taken so far this week. But before the, we hit the charts, just go visit my website. It's on the bottom left corner over here where you will find my previous analysis, previous strategies. Um, when you, if you're starting out on trading, there's some nice video categories for you to go through and it will help you in your trading career. Also, um, preferred brokers, go visit these guys. Um, they are brilliant when it comes to having a reliable broker on your side when you're doing your trading. Okay, so let's hit the charts. So USD JPY on the hourly time frame. Um, every week or every weekend after my analysis, I do or I highlight two areas in the market. Either be okay, it's always going to be a low and a high, and then we wait for any break and retest or break of structure and. Um, you know, I've, I'm trading with two type of, types of um, strategies or two methods of trading using the Fibonacci or either the Fair Valley Gap. And then we wait for any type of action of the market. And then we, um, you know, we trade towards what the market gives us. Okay. So on the USD JPY, we had a nice break of structure towards the upside. Now on the hourly time frame, you can see this nice area has been broken and, um, how could you have taken trades or where is the setups on that now i always say don't be scared to go down to your lower time frames because doing analysis i'm doing from top top down analysis doing from the daily to the hourly and then whenever there's trades being taken you know go down to your lower time frames and then go get those sniper entries so this week we had a nice couple of entries on the 15 minutes time frame. So if I move to the 15 minutes time frame and I zoom out a little bit, what we can see is, or we'll zoom in a little bit, there we go. So we have got this line, okay? That's the line that we were looking at. And any break or area, breaking this area. So we see that the market opened with a nice little gap in the market. And then obviously, you know, there's uh, most of the times a gap um, if there's a gap being opened, you see these gaps more on your on your um, MetaTrader, whatever platform you're trading. But MetaTrader, especially, you see these gaps, and then it will fill those gaps. Okay. So what we saw is a nice gap being um, opened, price going down, and then it broke that um, that basically that line, the area that we marked out. So it broke that area, made a nice run to the upside, and then it came back and retraced, right? retraced almost to that line area. But, you know, using our tools or the methods that I'm trading with, um, you take out a Fibonacci. So you had your open in the market, then you had a close or it closed that gap. So price moved back into that area and then it broke out again. So it formed a nice little low in this area. So then you highlight or you take your Fibonacci out and you mark the next high before there's a nice retracement. Okay, so you have a swing low and then you have a swing high. So price retraced all the way, <coughs> excuse me, nicely to the 62% area. Okay, so again, I always talk about this area between the 62% and the 79% area. That's your key area when you, when you place your trades. Okay, that's the area that you want price to retrace towards. And once it hits that area, that's the time that you want to buy. Because of the price breaking above this line your bias is going to be a buy especially on the lower time frames guys this is not swing trading okay i'm not talking about swing trading i'm talking about daytime trading you know intraday trading where or scalpers where you are just catching a couple of pips look price can be in a downtrend on a higher time frame but you will still catch those buys going up even if it's a downwards market or if a downtrend in the markets Okay, so if there's a downtrend, you can still catch buys up. If it's an uptrend, you can still catch buys down or sells down. So you can still trade this depending on your style of trading, depending on how many pips you want to take. Okay, so this one, we saw break of structure above that line. Price retracing all the way to the 62% area. Okay, that's it. It's exactly where you take your buy. So as you can see, price hitting that area and then it moved up. Okay, and it moved up quite a lot. Okay, use a lot of people say oh, it's not quite a lot, but I mean, again, depending on your trading style, depending on the amount of pips you want to take. Okay, so if you had to hold up until the end or the top over here, it would have been 124 pips. Okay, that is, you know, lot size wise, depending on your lot size, that is 
you know, a couple of dollars in your pockets. So let's say you did miss that area. Okay, let's say you missed that entry. You saw it was a little bit too late. It's not, it wasn't in your um, <clears throat> time of day that you were trading or you missed that. So then we had another low. Okay, price coming, price retracing back and then moving up again, creating another high and then retracing down to make another high low. Okay, so then again, you take your Fibonacci out and you, and you watch this market. You watch it retrace all the way to the 62% again. So that's an area that you want to buy again. So that's a second opportunity, <coughs> excuse me, that you could have gotten. So swing low, swing high, retracement, and then moving upwards again. So let's say you missed the first one. That's your second entry, okay, going up. I'm just going to do it all the way till this end here. So that is 100 pips. So you could have caught another 100 pips up. For those of you that's daring, that could have been your second entry, okay? That could have been a second entry of a trade that is already open. So the, that's, again, depending on your style of trading, okay? So let's say you missed that entry. There would have been a third entry in the market. So again, you have another swing low. That's your retracement, okay? The retracement is your swing low. So you have a high, and then you have another low over here, a lower, a higher low. Price going up. Okay, I'm just moving this across because price moved down. So that's your swing, your swing low. As you can say that, your Fibonacci is on that tip of that wick. It's where the lowest of the price went. I'm not doing, I'm not doing my Fibonacci's from the body to the body. I always do it from the wick, from the tip of the wick to the other tip of the wick, if you can see that. So that's your low of the candle, the lowest the price went. And then the highest the price went. That's another swing high. And then we had a nice consolidation, but price moving down all the way again to this area of the 62 to 79% area. And that's again another entry that you could have taken for another swing up. And that would have been a little bit less. So let's say you climbed out to the market there. So that's a 78 to 79 um, pips that you could have taken. So guys, three entries on the 15 minutes on this one single currency pair. So guys, do yourself a favor. Go back to whatever you are trading. Watch what I just did. Always mark out, <coughs> excuse me. Go to your higher time frames. Mark out an area in the market where price ended for the week. So you want a high be marked out and a low. And then you go to your lower time frames. And what you do is you just wait until there's any break of that. Let's call it a structure. Let the break of that high or the break of the low. And as soon as that area break being as soon as that area gets broken, then you react to what price gives you. You can even drill down to a lower time frame, to a five-minute time frame. And then you start using your Fibonacci, you start using your fair value gap. Or whatever you want to use to trade this, um, to trade it. Just go, you know, try it out, guys. And then you'll see your pips coming your way. And then also have your risk in place. Make sure there is proper risk in place. Have your stop losses just in case there is a trade that doesn't go your way. Okay? Because like you see, let's say out of the three trades, only one played out. Okay? And you had two losses. You could have still, if you had proper risk, you would have had two losses, but still a one big winning trade. And that would have made up for your two losses. And that is proper risk. But again, I'll make a proper video or, you know, about risk rewards and it will come your way soon. And then I will explain to you exactly what I mean. So guys, that's all from my side. I hope you enjoyed this analysis. I hope you did catch some pips on this currency pay. For those of you that does trade this currency pay. And I hope that makes sense to you. So guys, if you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Please comment in the comment section and let me know what you think. And, there's, and let me know all um, the areas in, the, in your trading career that you're struggling with. And let's see if we can pinpoint those areas out and try and help you to be a more successful trader. So guys, I hope you're having a wonderful week. Stay safe and happy trading, guys. Oh, my God.